Okay, welcome back. Where's your hat? <clears throat> I took it off. Too hot. I just wanted to see how long you'd leave it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Veritex Hot Air Bander. It's a handheld bander. It's capable of doing uh, straight runs as well as curves. I know that you're not familiar with doing laminate work or edge banding much, but uh, I wanted to show this product because we sell a lot of these. We have a lot of people ask about them. Now this works off of hot air only. That's correct. So this needs to be used with pre-glued edge banding, which you have in your hand there. Now do salespeople need something like this? Would they have to use that or could they just sales use people. their own hot air? Yeah, they could use their own hot air. Okay. Okay. Now. This is an out-of-the-box segment just to kind of show you folks what is involved in setting this up. But I've actually set this up. And I did a couple of boards, and I'm glad I did because this really takes a little bit of getting used to in order to, to make it work right. But anyway, we have the bander, which is right here. And if you would hand me the uh, screw gun behind you, I'm going to put my glasses on. And this comes with, um, uh, this, is your, this is your holder for the edge banding, the rolled edge banding, and this pops off of here like that. And I'm going to screw it right onto here. Uh, let me just slide that board out of the way so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm kind of working in front of you, but we're just going to take this out of here, two screws, and basically this is all the setup there is, is two screws, and you're ready to go. This comes with a couple standard items, I see. Yes, those are trimmers, and we're going to talk about those trimmers as well as some other trimmers. Now, one thing nice about this particular uh, bander is it does PVC edge banding. And uh, a lot of banders uh, don't do PVC because you've got to heat PVC from the glue side. You can't heat it through like you can a wood veneer. There's a wood veneer right behind you. Uh, if you want to just grab that, we'll show them real quick the difference in the two. Um, this is PVC. It's flexible. Uh, comes in, uh, we have it in over 900 colors, and it's pre-glued. And this is a real wood veneer, and that's also pre-glued on the back. And uh, these come in 250-foot uh, rolls, and these actually come in 600-foot rolls if you're buying them in bulk. But this unit works really well. Uh, we're going to lock it into... Now, I've got a question for yes. you, John. Um, something you said, and I was unaware of, wood can heat through the wood face to the glue? Yes, that's why um, we sell irons. And a mm -hmm. lot of people use irons, I mean, just regular irons. Uh, they don't work as well, but we sell a small iron. And what you can actually do is you lay the material on the edge of the board, you iron it on, and what you're doing is you're heating through here, and then you're melting the glue on the backside. You can't do that with PVC because the PVC will melt. Okay. So whenever you're looking at doing uh, a PVC job, you've got to make sure that your bander is capable of, of doing that particular job. Now, like I said, this one is a little tricky to get used to. Um, what you have to do first is you have to dial these in so that this touches the sides of the boards. You're live. And this is uh, a... Uh, uh, it's just well, not an indicator, but it's like a guide to slide back and forth. Okay, so you can make sure that you get that on good. And all you do is you start out front here, and you bring this down to where... Oh, sorry, I've got to slip through the threader there. And you just bring that down to where it stops. And you can see it's stopped actually in the piece here, and it's actually hitting the guides. So what we're going to do is we're going to just slip the guides over the edge. We're going to turn it on. Now, is there a warm-up time you have to wait for that? No, it's, it's immediate. And you cut it off before you get to the end of the board, and then roll it down. And it's as simple as that. I mean, it works that easily. Hmm, that is fascinating. Yeah, now, it, it took me about ten tries to get to this point, in all honesty. Out of the box, if I were to hand this to you, you probably would have had the same problem that I had was getting it started, getting it lined up. But once you get everything adjusted, you can really do these panels one right after another. Now, this is a little bit cool on this side, so it didn't really stick that well. Um, but you get the idea. Now, I did a couple of boards before. Here, set this over here. I did a couple of boards beforehand so that I could show you the different trimmers that are available uh, for use with this. 
And again, this is for doing handwork. This is a small shop that just occasionally you're going to put uh, edge banding on the material. Um, it's not a production shop. For a production shop, Veritex has three other machines that we can talk about if we have time. Let's just lock this in place. Now, would you use this if you had to do a repair on some edging in the field? I, well, it depends. If it's a shelf, yes. But you're not going to be able to get this on uh, a face frame or anything like that. So that would be difficult. Okay. Uh, mostly in-shop work. 